The one thing that I really miss about being at home, and honestly, is, is probably being able to move around and to exercise, move in a straight line for a long time. Generally, my research is ship-based, so we're on a two or three hundred foot research boat for a couple of months at a time. I try and get out into our small boats to see the outside world as much as possible when we're studying the animals, but you're pretty much confined to, to that small space and there's not, not a place you can get off and go for a hike as easily as you'd like to. One of my favorite things to do here is get in a Zodiac and when you've got this nice calm stuff, it's just cruise through it. The sound of the ice kind of rolling around and clinking is quite soothing and Every once in a while you see a whale in here and it's awesome. The Antarctic is a very distant place for a lot of people. It's an extreme place. It's a harsh place. The animals that are there are supremely adapted for that environment. There's a lot of challenges that you face working in that in those conditions. There are technical issues of how well your equipment is going to hold up in an extreme condition. There are physical things, just about being really cold for a long period of time, and you need a lot of dexterity to do some of these things, and the colder you are, the less able you, you are to do those things. And I think it's sort of the combination of those two that can lead to things becoming dangerous if you're not completely focused on things or you can't do things as well as you need to.